Sabah and Sarawak same level as Malaya should not become stacked under Malaya. MA63 useless is Sarawak is still under Malaysia. Twenty second of July is our Sarawak Independence Day. Cik Asa Sarawak sendal darat tu ah. Ah, hari mereka kali. I think Sarawak joins Malaysia. Mau tong ah, tak tahu. Tak tahu hari tiba lah. Ah, James Brook. Uh, self uh, autonomy, is it? 72 is when British left Sarawak and we gained Independence Day on that day. 72 is uh, about uh, 60 years of our Independence Day and it's a joyful year for everyone. The first question that I got is interesting. Sabah and Sarawak, same level as Malaya, should not become state under Malaya. True? We are not a state under Malaya. 60 years ago, four countries came together to form Malaysia. Singapore, Sabah, Sarawak and Malaya. Sadly, a lot of Sarawakian and more so the Malaysians did not realise that we are special regions because knowingly or unknowingly, it's not in the official textbook and the knowledge not being passed down so as a result, with time, we just get diminished and we become a state of Malaysia. And I'm not sure you notice it or not. Nowadays, in Sarawak, it's called Kerajaan Sarawak. And our Sarawak Secretary. Last time, it used to be Kerajaan Negeri Sarawak. And Sarawak State Secretary. To some people, maybe suckers, politics, but if we start it right again, it means if we recognize ourselves as special regions, then the rest of people will have to recognize us as special regions. If you and me call ourselves a state, then the rest of people will just call you a state. So it's naturally, depending on whether we set example or not. The next question is, MA63 useless is Sarawak is still under Malaysia. I find it, this question very interesting, you know. Well, Malaysia agreement is not useless. What happened is, it was like our wedding. You know, we invite everybody and then we sign the document. After that, it's never registered. Everyone forgot about it. It's never in the constitution. Until after Adinan, Abanjo carried on fighting for that. Finally, in 2021, the constitution is amended and is now in the constitution. Now it's time to ask for what is agreed upon by our forefathers. So it's not useless. If it's a co-Malaysia agreement, it means that it is, has to be in Malaysia. Otherwise, it's called British agreement. 